Hey. Hey. Is Julia here? No, she's in her room. There's a curry there if you're hungry. Julia! What's up? Hey, you're back. Can we make the video now? It's done. Are we not going to celebrate on camera? <clears throat> okay, listen to me. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to go through with it. That job is like gold dust. I meant the kidney donation. What? No. When did you decide this? You can't. You promised. Of course you can change your mind. You don't want to let those people down. You committed to this. It's important. John will understand. What about all the other people you could be helping? What other people? Well, other donors will look at you and do the same thing. You should see the comments. So many people are signing up for donor cards. But that's got nothing to do with your mother. Of course it has. All my followers think she's so courageous and brave. Think of the damage she's doing to the cause. But Juliet, stop. Now, if your mom wants to change her mind, she can change her mind. What am I going to say to everyone? Well, I asked you not to put it out there. I'm begging you, Mom. Please don't do this. You can't just build people's hopes up and then let them down. I'm not building up anybody's hopes. None of this should have been made public, Julia. What am I going to say? People aren't going to believe me. They're going to think I scammed them. OK, that's enough. <sighs> You committed to this, and now you're just pulling out. You're a coward. Okay, Julia, go somewhere else and don't speak to your mother like that. I can't believe you could be so cruel. Don't listen to her. She's right, though. No, she's not. We, don't, we both know. All she cares about is how many followers she has. I don't want to go through it, Amanda. You don't have to. But you're amazing. You tried your best, and no one's going to blame you for walking away. Have you told Joan? No. I mean, I said yesterday that I had doubts, but she was so understanding. I knew there was something up with you. And then today, this thing with a job, I'm sure she was behind it. Oh, no, she must be desperate. Kira, if you don't want to do it, just be straight with her. The whole thing is a mess and it's all my fault. Thanks. <clears throat> all the acid has me parched. It's weird it's so important to be a close friend, isn't it? Yeah. You think they'd snap the hand off anybody willing to donate? Mm. The law is likely to change, but that's the way things are at the moment. I know if I needed a kidney, I wouldn't care who gave me one as long as I got one. Well, the law is in place for the donor's benefit. This surgery can take a huge physical and emotional toll. If your connection to Joan is strong, it can help you through the hard parts, knowing it was worth it to help someone you care so deeply for. Sense. How did you become friends? <clears throat> I was uh, looking for business advice on a thing that I was doing, and yeah, a, a mutual friend suggested Joan. So we got talking and we clicked, and I took from there. And when was this? <clears throat> Years ago. I, I couldn't say exactly. Are, are you all right? Um, you've gone a bit pale. Do you know what? I've just gone a bit woozy. All of a sudden, I'll be all right in a minute. You are allowed to have second thoughts. Fine. Honestly. Time is up, but I, I think you'd really benefit from another session. I suggest you go away and really think about this, and we'll meet up again in a few days. Okay. Okay. She is really taking advantage. She's not. It's my idea. Why didn't you tell her to go online and source one? That's what everybody else does. Well, then she'd end up with some heap of scrap. 
That is not your problem, Mondo. Seriously, why do you think she mentioned it to you? She knew you'd offer. That's business for the carriage. Anyway, it's between Ray and Melanie now. I just hate to see her using you. I'd do the same for anyone. You're too nice for your own good. Anyway, it's done now, so can we forget about it? Fine. Do you want to help me put the curtains up? What, now? Yes, now. It'll only take ten minutes. Seriously, I can't look at them drab yokes any longer. They're depressing. You know, maybe ask me the next time you want to go redecorating. It's a pair of curtains, Mondo. You'll love them. And there's a ladder out in the shed. I'll go get it. Great. Oh. Oh, we're shopping again. Yes, food, Mondo. We have to eat. I didn't know you'd be here. Will you stay for dinner? OK. Great. It's good to see you two getting on so well. Mm, don't jinx it. I don't eat meat. Oh, you're looking getting bloody. Do you want to give me a hand putting this away, Mondo? Yeah, yeah, I will when I get back. I have to nip over to the garage. Oh? Yeah, Ray has a few cars lined up for Melanie. And what's that got to do with you? I'm well, just helping her out. Can Ray not do that? You back off the Perry's. All right, it won't be long and then we can all have dinner together. How good is that? Do you see what I mean? She clicks her fingers and he runs. She's treating like a lapdog. I don't understand how he can forget what she did. Oh, well, this is just the start of it, Julia. I've seen a whole other side to her, and she's not going to let go of him. And now it's up to us to show her dad what she's really capable of. You all right? I don't know why I came over. I thought you came over for work. could have told us the truth. Do you want to know why I really came over? It might help. Because I miss Joel. OK? I was lonely. I wanted to see me family. The last few years in Liverpool have been really great. My career's kicked off. With plenty of money coming in. I'm not happy. I miss my daughter. Kira. I just want to fit in again somewhere. You always belong here. You must realise that. The place you're from will always be home. That's what I thought, but it's not true. It's wrong. I mean, I had this <laughs> stupid fantasy that it would all be so grey here, but... I'm just a stranger. Are you hassling her again? Delete that video. No. That's an invasion of privacy. You're in a public bar. And anyways, you're a stripper, right? You don't be thinking about privacy when you're whipping your kid off. Do what you're told. <laughs> or what? OK, stop it. My fiancé could walk in at any minute. Do you want to lose yourself into any more trouble? Get her to keep our mouth shut. Or what? Would you just stop, Kira? I will deal with it. No. Yeah. Thanks. I was talking to Melanie. Oh? Yeah, she said that um, Paul Brennan told her that you couldn't be trusted. What? When? Was that the wedding? Now, why would he say that? I don't know. Kira? Why would he say it to Melanie? Why is he saying it to anyone? But did something happen? Kira? I found out something about Orla. And I told him. I figured I was doing my favour, but obviously he'd rather not know. And now it's all like, oh, I betrayed Orla. And what did you find out about Orla? Mando, stop, will you? Kira. No, it's private. Because I can't be trusted. What, did you think I couldn't? No, of course you can. I, I know that. And actually, why is Melanie saying this to you in the first place? She thought I should know. And why did she think she should know? Mondo? Because she was concerned about me. Excuse me? Yeah, I know. 
And, 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 I, and I told her exactly what you're thinking right now, that, that that's ridiculous and, and, and that she's wrong and that you are totally and absolutely honest and... And she's an interfering cow, she mind more business, yeah? Well, no. Well, she insulted me. You weren't even there. In spirit. Oh, no. Melanie. Hi. Hi. Mando. Thank you. Mm, I wouldn't lower myself. <laughs>